Good morning, friends. <laughs> I'm so glad to be back in the wonderful state of Georgia to celebrate with y'all a big win last night. Go dogs. <laughs> War Eagle, huh? I don't know, it's a little late for that. Well, this message might be appropriate for those of you that are sitting in the pews this morning and maybe a little bit more appropriate for y'all than it might have been for our smaller friends, but all the same, I'm going to give you a good word. I hope that you'll hear it this morning. How many of y'all live and die by one of these calendars? Yeah, I see some hands. I see some hands. Are we excited to pitch the old one that's all marked up? It might be bent up and beat up like mine is. We get to swap it out for the brand new 2023, nice and clean, full of potential, wonderful things. Now, I don't know about you. I know Mr. Campbell can probably relate to this. But if I misplace that calendar or if I don't have my cell phone with me that has all of the things that I've got to take care of for the day, I start to get a little anxious. My hands start to shake. I, got, I start to get a little stressed out. And that's because there's uncertainty, right? When we don't have a schedule, when we don't have everything planned out for us, when we don't have a direction that's defined for us. But the beauty of that calendar that's empty is that there is somebody that knows what's going to be filled in on each one of those hour marks, each one of those daily tasks. And that's our Heavenly Father. You see, for us, our God has mapped out a course for each and every one of our lives. So let's treasure that fact. Let's hold on to it through the uncertainty that the future has in store for us. Would you all pray with me and give thanks for that fact this morning? Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for the promise that we have of your faithfulness through uncertainty into the future. We know that you have great plans for each and every one of us. Help us to treasure this in our hearts. We thank you for the gift that is your son, and it's in his name that we pray. Amen. 